Epithalon, AKA the biohacker Botox for your cells that promises to telescope telomeres and maybe extend your years just long enough to make up for last weekend's bender. Originally developed in Russia in the 1980s by the team led by Vladimir Kavinson from the St. Petersburg Institute of Bioregulation and Gerontology, Epithalon is a synthetic tetrapeptide modeled after a pineal gland extract called Epithalamin. So what does it actually do? On paper, it's some pretty wild stuff. Epithalon has been shown in cell studies to activate telomerase, AKA the enzyme that rebuilds telomeres, which are the caps in your chromosomes, lengthen telomeres and human fetal fibroblasts, and help those cells bypass the usual division limit. It also appears to modulate gene expression, influence DNA repair pathways, help antioxidant defenses, and even affect the circadian melatonin systems. In animal studies, rats and flies treated with epithalon showed increased lifespan with up to 16% that increase in some fly studies, better survival under stress, and improved biomarkers of aging. In humans, the data is thin. Some Russian clinical reports suggest improved sleep, better endocrine immunity markers, and maybe improved function in older adults. But sample sizes are really small, and independent replication is also very limited. So here's the reality check. Despite all the anti-aging peptide wonder chatter, epithalon is not FDA approved, dosing protocols are inconsistent, and long-term safety data in humans is basically a blank page. Some providers are already Already using it under advanced longevity clinics, but make no mistake, you're entering extreme experimental territory here. Bottom line, if you're chasing the fountain of youth, epithalon may be a fascinating tool. It targets telomeres, epigenetics, and cellular repair in ways most supplements don't even whisper about. But if you expect it to make you look like Hollywood's finest overnight, that's just wishful thinking. Use only with full knowledge of how little we really know, verify your supply, and accept that risks may still be unknown. That's epithalon, promising science, unproven therapy. And no matter how much you take, still no guarantee you won't get flamed in the comments for looking like you're almost 40. Proceed accordingly.